Hello. I decided to make a video showing off the Ouya. Um, here it is compared to a mouse for a size comparison. Um, some people don't have an idea of just how small it is. Um, I've currently got an Ethernet USB thumb drive in there. It also supports a micro USB slot, not the SD card, just like your phone charging cable and an HDMI out. Um, here's the controller. Um, if you look at it, you can see probably that the thumb, the, the D-pad is not actually one big circle like the Xbox, but independent D-pad, which is nice. Most people want that. And I'm going to show you a couple things I have working that are pretty neat. So we'll turn it on. Sorry for the glare. This is the best I can do in my house. So here's the main home screen. We've got play, discover, make, and manage. Play is where you play your games, discover is where you find new games, and make is where if you're a developer you'll launch your titles that you're working on. Um, you can also find the browser there. Here's the web browser. I'll go into it in a bit. And news is developer news. And manage is your system settings see if you need updates. You can also get to the actual Android settings from here, which is fun to see on your TV. It's got all the usual stuff. You can't add a Gmail account as far as I can tell, so you're up to just the OUYA accounts, but you could have more than one OUYA account on there. Okay, so First thing I'm going to show is what I think is the most interesting um, This is a early build of Xbox Media Center XBMC um, running on the Uyo. I'm actually doing something that I haven't seen anyone else do so far, at least on YouTube or the internet. Um, I have videos being streamed from my server. Um, that's in my attic <laughs> and you can watch them right on the video which is pretty cool so we got the movies and here you go we got all sorts of movies um, this is just over a wired ethernet connection setup is not too difficult if someone wants to know how I can explain it but here you go here's the dark knight loads basically immediately um, larger files this is a 720p file so it's probably about four to five gigs uh, a larger nine or ten gig file takes a little bit to load but it will load and it'll play without lag in 1080p on the OUYA. so the Tegra 3 is capable of rendering HD video fine even streamed which makes me very happy because now this is my little media center that takes up the size of a little wireless mouse. <laughs> um, I don't know. You can try one more. This is Incredibles. It works. Um, the Ouya only has 8 gigs of internal storage, so you can hook up a external thumb drive, or I believe you could even put a, a whole external hard drive on there and read it as long as it's in NTFS. Um, I put some music on here just to show it works, so I can go on my USB drive, and it's gone. Well, there went that idea. Let's see if I can find it. Nope, doesn't work.
All right, well, um, I know what I should do. Hold on. There we go. I just had to take out the thumb drive to stick it back in. So, um, there you go. Zombies ate my, mu my <laughs> neighbor's music. It works. XBMC is very, uh, very smooth. There's not much lag or anything. You can see the, all the info on it. This actually provides more info than the Ouya does, so once it launches, it'll definitely be worth getting. All right, let's do something else. So just to show, since we can do it here, right from XBMC, you can actually launch your Ouya apps. So here's all the apps I have installed so far. We can go straight into Puddle. Sure, these graphics are all the way up. Yeah. So you can tilt the screen using the little triggers on the back works pretty well some people have asked about accelerometers I'm pretty much positive there's no accelerometer in the controller this is a touchpad though so yeah here's your your thumbsticks I mean not thumbsticks my triggers they squeeze a bit but whatever to the Uyo menu. You can hit play. Um, here you have all the games you've downloaded. Um, we've already shown one. I'll just show Dub Wars because I haven't seen much of it online and it's it's a cool idea. It's a little bit interesting. Already done that level. Let's try this level out. So, as you see, enemies spawn with the music. Your gun doesn't fire, so the music goes. Definitely has a lot of dropping the bass.
All right, can't spend all day playing games. I just thought that was pretty neat. Uh, let's do some emulators to show them off. They're pretty cool. Emuya is made for the Ouya, as you can tell by the name. I'm sure you've seen some of this online, but I want to just kind of include it all. So they have indie NES style games made. All these are not, well, those are cheat minutes. That's so you can rewind. So if you fell in a pit as Mario, you can actually rewind out of the pit. I'll try and show that mechanic in a little, little bit here. But Battle Kid, these are all games made much after the lifetime of the NES. Um, so we can say continue playing Battle Kid goes straight in, nothing ever happened. You got shoot, jump. So if I say, all right, let's, let's get a, oh no, I fell in. But I can rewind right out of it and use some of that cheat time up. And now I can move along. That's in essence cheat time and that's how Imuya looks to make their money. I think it's, <laughs> it's a worthy endeavor. All right, let's get out of this game. Uh, here we have Star Wars for NES. It's exactly what Luke Skywalker looks like. Everyone remembers the dripping acid from NES. I mean, from Star Wars. <laughs> oh no. Um, and then let's go to old school Mario Bros. I got up on the top. die in slow motion. <laughs> Alright. I really like how this UI works. You can see the game running and it just goes straight into it where you were. Ah, oh, just kidding! That's enough of this one. I also have Super GNES on here. This has got a little prettier of a UI. You get to see the covers of all the games you've got. Super GNES is Super NES for those who couldn't tell by the large SNES controller splash screen. Genius. Um, here we have the N64 emulator. You can play some Super Mario. Hopefully it works right. There we go. I'm 
sure you've seen this online already, but I just wanted to show it running on a final version of you, not a dev unit. Obviously it works. That's about all I can say about that. Come and get me! So you've got a cursor, this is done by using the touchpad on the controller. Um, I don't know if I can show both at the same time. It's not incredibly responsive, but it definitely serves its purpose. I've done typing with it, because you have to for Xbox Media Center. Um, there's there's also other emulators, SNES 9X is out on it, it's not as pretty. Um, I guess if you want to see Beast Boxers, you know, it's a big game, launches basically instantly, which is nice. So far everything I've launched runs like that. Um, there you go. It looks great, it plays great, there's no lag. I have a Transformer Prime, which has the Tegra 3, and the, I can say games actually run smoother on here than they do on the Transformer Prime, so... If you're concerned with previous Tegra 3 performance you've had on other games, I haven't had a problem so far on here. Alright. It's really quick to go back, you just double tap the, uh, the U button on the uh, controller and that will get you right back to the menu. Um, I think, okay, well, I guess the last thing I can show you is the browser. It's not terribly exciting, but it does work. <laughs> I say it does work as the browser, crash the browser crashes. All right, well, it usually works. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> um, that's how I got Xbox Media Center, so obviously it does work sometimes. Uh, I guess I haven't shown the Discover much. Um, they have a selection of genres on the left. You get to see what there is. They all have kind of a Xbox 360 sort of layout with the tiles. You can see the screenshots. Sandbox is where titles that haven't officially been fully launched yet are, but you can still download them. Every game on the Ouya is free to try, and they'll have their own ways of getting money. Some are in-app purchases, some have a full version that's a dollar or two. It's very similar to just gaming on Android, just with a prettier UI. I think this video is already really long. And I think I've shown everything I can think of. If you need to see anything else, you can let me know. But, yeah. That's all. Um, thanks for watching, and goodbye.